Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you around my brand new, fully custom Shadow Race Engineering Wolf Buggy. Now, this is a double A-arm front and rear race buggy. We've got 22 inches or so of travel on the front and about 20 on the rear, all taken care of via these triple bypass king shocks combined with a secondary king coil carrier down here. So we've got a dual rate spring there and three levels of adjustability in the damping up there. Now the double A-arm gives us nice good camber curves around the front, nice strong and lightweight suspension system. As we move around we can see we've got four piston wheelwood calipers pulling us up on the front, really nice pieces of kit through vented rotors. Moving back further, full fiberglass bodywork, fiberglass dash, fiberglass side pods, so there's single layer fiberglass with a 70mm thick foam core that is really super rigid and weighs only about two kilos per side. The wings of the same sort of construction. It weighs about four kilos and makes around 300 kilograms of downforce at 180 k's an hour, which is around about this car's top speed because it just makes so much drag that you can't go too much faster. Looking at the interior, we've got two suspension seats, okay? Now these seats have got custom padding in the bottom to lower the driver and passenger to bring down the center of gravity, but they've still got the classic suspension seat springiness and good padding so that you can deal with those bumps nicely. Now the dash has mechanical gauges as well as a fully interactive Android tablet system that connects directly to the ECU. We've got a reversing camera in there, a whole bunch of controls with push to start, and then we've got a turning brake. So you pull that to pull the left rear, pull the other lever to pull the right rear, or pull them both at the same time to e-brake the car. Air fuel ratio gauge, and then we've got the steering wheel, which is removable and fully Alcantara. Keeping the interior, we have the uh, helmet supply, bringing fresh air into the helmet from a pumper behind the seat and into com port there. Then around the back, we've got the same double A-arm configuration here. And this lets us get a really good camber curve on our suspension. So we've got good control of the camber through the roll. And we also can keep it really light because we've got quite a large spacing between the two arms. So we can get a nice and light weight. On the outside, we've got a BTR beadlock wheel. So beadlock around the outside gives us a nice ability to hold the tire even at lower pressures. Then we've got a mid-board hub in the center, which lets us get our CV outside of the inboard face of our hub, which means we can get much more travel because our CVs are at less angle. Moving around, this gearbox is a WRX five-speed gearbox with all strengthened internals. And it's being converted to be just front wheel drive, so it can act like a transaxle. Manual shift through cable linkages through to the cabin here. So you can see we can shift easily like that. Up here, this frame holds the spare tire and also has a mount for a reversing camera on the inside so we can see who's coming up behind us. And just when we're backing off the trailer and stuff, it's nice and easy. More of this foam cord fiberglass construction there. Fuel tank, bit of heat shield on it to keep it nice and cool. Then as we move around, we've got the turbo on this side. So the engine out of this is a WRX STI engine. It's a two liter engine from the Australian 2002 model STI. Um, fully reconditioned top end, and then also a VF34 on the back of it. So not an extremely powerful turbo, but gives you a decent mid-range and will provide enough top end power for the sort of driving that we're doing. Again, same triple bypass structure on the back with a coilover set up here. We've got a six piston brake on the back here to keep the rear in check. A bit stronger than the front because we've got the turning brake working on the rear, obviously. Then in the center, we have a CAS one and a half way limited slip differential, which gives us a good bit of traction on the tail end of the car. Then if we come around mm -hmm. here, we can see that these number fins, which were required to run for rules to get our numbers on by the racing, double up as swan neck wing mounts. So we have minimal interference from a mount coming up here and disturbing the airflow. Even though we do have these bolts here, they're not as bad as if we had a full strut coming up there. Um, radiator behind the cabin, bypass duct here to feed more air through to the wing so that the air can come through the cabin, feed the radiator, feed the wing and flow up and get us some good downforce going on there. So that's the basics for my off-road race buggy. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, maybe check out some of my other ones on the build of this buggy and how it sort of all came together as well as my race edit that will be coming out shortly. And hopefully if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and hopefully see you next time.